Hey everyone, welcome back for another YouTube experience. Today, we're gonna answer a few questions. When do I level up in auto chess? How do I grow my economy? And when should I roll for pieces? Not knowing how or when can cause you to fall behind and eventually just get stomped by your opponents. So, let's begin. In my opinion, economy and leveling kind of go hand in hand. Uh, sometimes you gotta ask yourself, if I level up here, would my economy be stunted or will it grow because I'm protecting a win streak? Uh, another thing is when you level up um, to remember is your chances of finding chess pieces changes. Um, we're going to explore that a little later on. Um, currently, there are only two methods for gaining more experience in auto chess. Um, at the beginning of each round, you're granted a single experience point. Uh, the other way is um, you can purchase four experience points for five gold. Uh, the ability to purchase experience um, with gold might seem a little difficult at first when you're looking at your starting economy, but as you as the game goes on, uh, you kind of narrow down your strategy and you focus on a certain build, and then you just start banking those chess pieces that go to that particular build. Um, your economy is just going to grow, and you're going to find it much easier just to spend that bonus or extra gold into uh, experience points. Um, another example is, um, is, say you have 15 gold, and you don't, you absolutely don't want to sell anything on your bench to just get that 20 gold. Um, why not just throw that 5 gold into uh, experience? Why not? It's not going to get you any interest. You're not doing anything with it. Might as well just pre-level up and get ready for the... Or you can also roll. But early on, I usually don't like to, re to roll. But you can. You can roll and try to find those other pieces that you might need. Let's say you have two little anti-mages, you're, you're level four, you have 15 gold in the bank. You could roll or you could level up. Uh, you could roll just because you have higher chances of getting those one-cost units earlier, uh, at earlier levels, so that might not be a bad play. This graph right here, I'm going to show you, uh, shows you how much experience you actually need to level up. Um, you can see here round one, um, round two, and round three are your basic first rounds, no matter what. They you're going to level up at one experience point. Um, from, round, from round three to round four, you're going to need two experience points. So starting on round four, you're at one out of two experience, and you're at level three. Um, and then starting around five, that's when you level up. However, you could spend five gold on round five to level up again. Um, some, some, a lot of people do this. Um, it's pretty powerful. Um, I would recommend doing this if you have at least one two cost unit already um i would do i would level up around five usually if i have uh, enough pieces on the board um i feel like i'm pretty strong and i can continue going on a win streak um and that's about it otherwise i wait maybe one one round i wouldn't wait too long to level up again um i'll just level up in round six versus round five um it all depends because you can see here um you can kind of fall behind in experience the more you wait. So if you haven't leveled up by round eight to get to five, not saying this is bad. Like you could ride a win streak up to round eight um, and just naturally go from round four to five. That would take four rounds, but you have higher chances at level four to get one cost units. So something to think about. I feel like the m best rounds, the most efficient rounds to level up are rounds five, nine, 13, 17, 21 and 26, not 25, but 26. Um, it's just enough experience points to level up. So you purchase just enough to level up. So if you go back on, say, round nine, you need four out of eight experience points to get to level six. That'll just cost you five gold. Um, go back to 13, you're currently at level six. You have four out of 16 experience points. To get to seven, you spend 15 gold to get to seven. Uh, another critical point is at level around 17 for you're currently at 4 out of 24 you could spend 25 gold to get to to level 8 and then 21 and 25 etc however if you want to increase your odds of being offered uh, expensive units the next time you enter the prepare uh, the preparation phase or the buy phase you can consider maybe uh, buying the experience so that um, on the natural round, or so at the beginning of the round, that when you get that one experience point, that's going to cause you to level up. And then the fresh shop is going to be the, that's what you get. Um, 
So what I mean is, say round eight, you buy, uh, you spend, the, you spend five gold to get um, four experience points. So, so you'll be at seven out of eight. At the beginning of round nine, you'll level up because you get that one experience point at the beginning of the round. And then the shop will pertain to um, your level f six experience at that point, which would be, I actually showed, I got some percentages here. So that'll give you access to uh, tier four units at 7% and your tier three, tier two at 30%. And of course, still tier one at 33%. So it's it's good. It's not bad. Something to, something to keep in mind. Um, you could level up going into the, if you have the economy to support it. Like I wouldn't do it unless I had the economy to support it. Sometimes it's better to just wait, grow your economy. Like if you're going to spend 20 gold just to not even level up, you're not even going to get to put a unit out there. It's kind of not that great. I'd rather just get the interest, level up the next turn, get my unit out and stay strong versus spend all my money and then still lose the round. It could go bad. It could go downhill from there. So it's kind of like a gamble, but it could be good. Because <laughs> instead of re-rolling, you're getting that free refresh roll at um at a higher level, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, another thing people could do is uh, not leveling up actively from round four to five. And what I mean is um, you're basically increasing your likelihood of seeing more of the loader cost units um, for those four rounds that you're not leveling up. Uh, you're probably going to be going on a, riding on a win losing streak at this point, though, if you're going to do this. Um, but you'll have access to those one cost units, those two cost units, and potentially increasing your odds of getting uh, two star units um, because you did this. Um, and then as soon as you get those two star units, you level up and then you're back on track. Um, let me just show you the percentages real quick. Um, but so obviously level one is 100% chance of getting uh, the one cost unit or common units. At level two, it's 70% chance to get the one cost or and 30% chance to get the two cost. Um, at level three, it goes to 60 for the one cost. 35 for two cost and 5% for the three cost. Uh, so, and then level four, it's 50% chance to get the one cost, 35% to get the two cost, 15 for the three cost. So here, in my opinion, your highest chances of getting the one cost units are going to be from levels one, one through five. Um, your highest chances of getting two cost units are going to be from levels three to levels five. Okay, um, at level six, at levels five, six, and seven, you have higher chance of getting uh, the three cost units. Um, as you can see here, level seven is uh, thirty percent chance, thirty percent chance, thirty percent chance, ten percent chance to get the four cost, and zero for the five cost. Uh, at levels, um, I would say levels, actually no, I would say eight, nine, ten are your higher cost, highest chance of getting level. Uh, four cost units. And you open up the door for getting those five cost or tier five godlike units. And then uh, obviously that level 10, that's the, the highest chance you're ever going to get to get uh, five cost units, which is only 6%. It's not a lot. But look how low 1% units got 19%. And then 25 for two cost, 25 for three cost, 25 for four cost. Definitely level 10. Look at that, 25%. But you can see here, what I mean is the higher level you go, the the, the less likely you're going to get the lower cost units. So you may want to ride a losing streak to get those low cost units early, and you'll you'll go through into the mid game with like two two star units, and that'll carry you to the late game. Um, so it's all part of the strategy, which is so good about this game. You can literally just change it on the fly. Um, uh one thing I want to do mention, um, the biggest jump is to get from levels uh, 6 to 7. Um, and it's either going to happen on turn 13 or turn 17. Um, on turn 13, I would definitely go for this play if um, I feel like I'm really strong. I'm riding a winning streak, and I want to continue to ride that winning streak. Um, I have good units on my bench to put in. Um, and... I may re-roll occasionally here. Um, um, I may re-roll early only if my economy supports it. So like I said before, um, 
multiples of 10. If um, I have 12 gold, maybe I'll just reroll once just to see what I get. Um, lock it in if it's something good. Um, but usually I save my rerolls till level 8. Um, and I just dump my excess gold into experience points. The worst thing you can do in this game is um, win, lose, win, lose. You either want to get on a winning streak or stay on a losing streak. I know it's hard just to lose in this game. Like you don't, no one wants to just lose, right? But it's better off to lose because you can get the losing streak gold. Um, you still grow your economy that way. It's it's actually bad to win then lose, win then lose because you don't get any extra gold. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I definitely don't recommend leveling up on a creep wave. Um, you have forty gold. Why waste twenty gold on round twenty to fight creeps? when you could just get the interest and level up around the round after just doesn't make sense. So don't level up on creep waves. That's the best advice I'm going to give you today. <laughs> and like I've said before, uh, from rounds like 21 to 25, you can do some light rolling, try to get those four cost units to level two stars. And, um, especially if you have the excess gold, um, one, one good thing to do is try to get your economy to 50 gold. And whenever you have, any more gold than 50? Let me rephrase that. So the way uh, interest works is for every 10 gold, you're going to get one extra gold. So the most you can ever get in interest is five gold in this game. So why, if you have more than, so if you have 60 gold, you're only going to get five gold in interest. So why not spend that 10 extra excess gold either in either A, uh, experience points, so you can get eight experience points, or reroll and mix in experience points um, to your liking, okay? Um, but it's better to spend it than to keep saving it. It doesn't make sense. So stay at 50 gold. Um, later in the game, like I usually, I usually like to get the 50 gold, and then I'll once I get to like once I get to like maybe level levels eight, I would like to just stay at 40 gold. So I would I would roll every time, every round, back down to 40 gold, try to get the pieces that I want. Um, so that's something you can consider as well. So your strategy when determining whether to re-roll or not is actually the opposite of what motivated you in the early rounds. So in the late game. So in the early rounds, we're like, okay, we re-roll just to make our board a little stronger, try to continue our win streak. Um, in the late game, if you're already if you're losing, like you have low health, you're you're kind of desperate. You don't want to lose. Um, it's better to lose a game with zero gold in your bank than to lose your game with 40 gold in the bank. So if you can't afford to ride a losing streak, um, as the game is close to the end, um, because you're going to be eliminated from the game, then it's better just to re-roll, spend, burn through all your gold, try to upgrade your board as best as you can with nine units on the board versus trying to save that money to get the 10th piece there. Um, it's better to lose with nine two star units versus 10 one star units. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, but if I mean if you have nine if you have nine if you if you made it to nine chess pieces and your board is pretty strong um after you hit that nine mark, definitely save up your your gold um try to get back above fifty and then um that's where you have that economy you can support uh you know roll here and there and then once you're back at that fifty mark, get that tenth level, get that final chess piece out there. And your final form. And hopefully you'll win the game. Um, I hope I answered your questions. I hope I was able to answer those questions for you guys. Um, if you made it this far, click that thumbs up. Share the link with your friends. Um, if you have any suggestions or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, until next time, thanks for watching.